Hi, my name is Philip Ashley Ricks. I'm the owner of Philip Ashley Chocolates located in the medical district of Memphis, Tennessee. Prior to the pandemic breaking, we were in preparation to do a number of large events around the country, some major business gifting projects, and that's something we do a lot of and did a lot of was a lot of B2B platforms. So businesses gifting to their clients, to their stakeholders, et cetera, around the country. Then the pandemic hit and all that went away in an instant. So immediately I had to begin thinking, well, what are we gonna do with all the chocolates that we've been creating, preparing for these next few things, over the next several things over the next several months? And immediately thought about how I used to do, or and continue to do it, just done a tasting, but live. And so that's when our virtual tastings were born, where we began to share our chocolate and tell those stories to people around the country using uh, social media and chat platforms. Pretty much that first or second week of the national stay at home order, you know, we did 13 weeks in a row of virtual tastings every Friday, getting together with 40, 50, 60 people uh, and, and on platforms that allow us to have these video conferences. And so that allowed us to stay top of mind, tell people what we have going on, inform them of the creative new chocolates that I'm, I'm making, and that, that helped us out tremendously. Digital marketing has been even more important to what we do today than, uh, than it was before. Uh, social media in particular, what we do is visual, so we're constantly showing off what we're doing uh, and the new things that we're making, being authentic and actually having those conversations back and forth when people online and in social, on social media are responding to us uh, and just sharing what we have. The key transitions that I'm making is, and our business has made, is we shifted primarily 90% of our business online. Our reopening has really been digital. I decided not to have our storefront operate in retail uh, for the moment. The primary things we're doing from a customer facing standpoint is creating a contactless environment. So all of our sales are done online, uh, all of our transactions and things like that. But when we're doing the curbside delivery, uh, we're bringing that out covered in PPE as well. So in thinking about all the increased costs or the additional things that we have to do and making sure our employees are safe, making sure the customers are safe, I didn't want to diminish the experience by um, adding a bunch of different fees here and there. You know, I tried to be very mindful of this early on in the business, but one of the key things that we're doing with our online experience is really taking the experience that people used to get in the store. They wanted to come in and see the chocolates laid out and taking that build a box experience from a in-face, in in-person um, uh, point of view and putting it into uh, a digital world where you go online to the new site that we created and you can build a box. You'll be able to see all the different chocolates that you can put in the box. We'll give you this really cool expanded view of what is inside each piece and a description of that. So it'll be just like you're in the store, but you're at home or in the office. I tell people we're not saving the world, we're just making it taste sweeter one piece at a time.